Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about Dolphin GameCube games running on your Steam Deck and how to optimize each setting to get the best uh, experience out of each game. So let's go ahead and get into it. So go ahead and download Dolphin. You can use the ME Deck or the standalone version uh, off of the App Store. How are you going to do it? That's fine. Um, but once we're in the Dolphin app, uh, we're going to use Luigi's Mansion as today's example. <coughs> The things that we go over here can be applied to any game. So go ahead and hit uh, the graphics settings. Uh, we're actually going to change the aspect ratio to 416 by 9 uh, to uh, have a widescreen to fill up the whole screen while you're playing on the Steam Deck. Um, enable VSync, start full screen, show FPS because we're like that. Uh, enhancements, 720p. And then you want to check the widescreen hack. Make sure that that's checked whenever you're wanting to do widescreen stuff. Uh, make sure that these custom texture options are both checked. Uh, and that should be good for that. Then we can go in and right click the game that we're looking at. Go into properties. Whenever you set a game to 16 by 9, uh, you'll notice if you start it up that you'll have some artifacting and some weird... A display issues going on so something that you need to add is one of these gecko codes um, so how you find the gecko codes is you just google the game you want to look up so in this case Luigi's Mansion uh, and then wiki dolphin so you want to go to the wiki dolphin page find the game and this will have all of the kind of available options uh, for each game which is pretty cool so for Luigi's Mansion, we can see under enhancements, we have some 16 by 9 widescreen codes. So depending on which version of the game that you have, North American or the EU uh, version. So in this case, we have the North American version. So we're going to go ahead and copy this code. Go back into Dolphin. Uh, we're going to add new code. I already have it, but we can apply it again just for an example. Uh, call this whatever you want, widescreen, works for me. Add, paste the code that we copied from the wiki page, and then hit save. And then make sure this is checked. Um, so I'm gonna uncheck that because that's just a duplicate of this widescreen version that I've already made. Um, so you can just remove that. And then, that is it. So after we've done that, we have now gotten widescreen mode activated. Um, so again, going back to the wiki page, uh, if there are HD texture packs available, you'll also see that here. Um, and so go ahead and download from the applicable link here. Once you download, um, you're gonna wanna find that. So I've already downloaded it. So I'll, and, you know, It'll show up as a zip file. You want to download the 1080p or the 4K version if you're playing uh, on desktop. But for Steam Deck, we only need 1080p. And so once you unzip it, um, go ahead and hit Standard Edition. This will include a bunch of stuff. Again, if we're running on desktop, uh, this is pretty easy. I think you can just click this .exe file and run it. But in this case, let's go to User, Load, Textures, and this is our folder so we want to copy this and place it into our luigi's mansion uh, dolphin texture folder which to find that go to home deck dot var app um, and then you want to find your dolphin here so your dolphin folder go to data dolphin mu load and then textures and so this this is now your game code. So if you don't know your game code, go back to Dolphin. I have made it so it shows all the game codes here. It's a, just a unique identifier for each game. If you don't have this activated under view, um, game ID. If you don't want to do that, right click your game and hit properties and then go to info. And then you can find your game code here. So if there's not already a folder, sometimes Dolphin generates it if you mess around with the settings. But it, if you 
If you don't know it, recreate a folder. Uh, in this case, I already have one here. And then paste your folder right in this textures game ID folder here. So this is it. This is what we took out of the texture pack that we downloaded. Um, and that should be ready to go. And we've already activated the custom textures option in Dolphin. Um, and so that should be good to run. Uh, one other comment, uh, there's a lot of options in Dolphin that you can configure. Sometimes you wanna you know, choose different options for different games. Uh, say widescreen doesn't work very well from one of your ROMs. Um, there's actually a way where you can configure each game separately. Uh, and we do that by, okay, so we're going to this. This is the, a folder that we found, that texture folder. So we're in the Dolphin MU folder, hit game settings. And now we see these .ini files. And these INI files are saved configurations for each game uh, ID, as you see here. So again, these will correspond with one of the games uh, that we have on our Dolphin emulator already. So this is the one that we have for Luigi's Mansion. And this is actually what Dolphin does. When you add a gecko code for your 16x9, it adds it to your .ini file. And that's how it tells Dolphin to, hey, when you load this ROM, uh, use this gecko code with this configuration. Uh, same thing here, you, know, you have widescreen enabled. Uh, and then a couple other video settings. So I'm gonna post a link. There are a bunch of options. So I found on this uh, little old forum, this is this is the best list of kind of the options that I could find. So I'll link it, I'll link this in the description below. Um, but it has a ton of options. So in this list, the ones that I found most useful are, and you can go ahead and um, control F and find the ones that you want. But if it's in the configuration menu, menu in Dolphin, like in the UI, then it'll be here. So you can kind of set a custom aspect ratio, like we forced widescreen 16 by nine. Uh, so you'd copy this under video settings in your file. So this is kind of what we did here. You have a header for each setting. So here you'd have video settings and it'll tell you. So this is the header and then this is kind of the command and this will tell you the description of the command. So this is useful, widescreen hack is useful. If you're, again, if you're using widescreen, you wanna set this to true or false. Uh, V-Sync, I always have this turned on. Anti-aliasing, I usually have this turned off uh, for every game. You can choose different controller configurations um, here for GameCube controller profiles. If you want to load by default every time you boot up ROM, you can choose different pad profiles. And you just have to e uh, equate this to the name that you set in your Dolphin has the controller profile. So like for example, standard controller, uh, if you have, so here I have a profile for Steam Deck uh, and I wanted to load this particular profile for Luigi's Mansion every time, I would, again, you need your header, and then go to your INI file. And then pad profile equals Steam Deck. That's it. So whether you want it to be a different profile, that's how you set it up, you can change it easily. Uh, go ahead and save this, and then that'll automatically apply. So, and that's it. So our game, you should see, you know, all the configurations that we set up. We should be rocking and rolling. So yeah, go ahead and give this one a try, uh, please. Um, fiddle around with the configurations, customize it, make, make it something that you want. And again, this could probably apply to Wii games as well, anything in Dolphin. Um, so please, uh, if you learned something today, please uh, leave a like and subscribe uh, and stick around for some more content. Take it easy.